chapter 30, number 16. Take a look at figure 30-5. During the past decade, many members of the baby boom generation have passed through ages ranging from the middle 40s to late 50s. Do you suppose that the fact that there have been more members of this generation than other generations in the population during the past decade tends to imply that there is higher or lower measured inequality over the period and why? I wish he was more specific about the years. In fact, in his uh, in his answers, uh, the textbook edition changed, and he cites 30-4 as the figure. But in your book, the question we're talking about is 30-5. So I wish he had specified which years instead of just being the past decade, because since this was written, we're in a different decade. But anyway, the question is still handy for us to think about the age effect on the Lorenz curve. <clears throat> After the Second World War, there was a spike in births in the United States. So, uh, when the when that was a when we had such a large percentage of the population that were young, I held this up because it's it's a very similar question. This was a comparison of countries over space. We can use this to think of a comparison of one country over time as well. When we had a large percentage of the population in the U.S. that were kids and not earning income, what that tells us is we only had a small percentage of the population or a relatively small percentage of the population earning high income. So probably in the 60s and 70s when the baby boomers were young and not earning, we were probably more like country uh, Z. And then when the baby boomers in the uh, 70s, 80s, and 90s hit peak working age, then we had a large percentage of the population earning high income, so we probably moved to a curve like Y. Income inequality would have fallen because a lot of people are at their peak earning age, so we have a, a large percentage of the population earning high income. Then when people retire, you don't want to work so much, so by definition you want your income to come down, you want to live off your wealth, your saved earnings from the past. And so now when you have a large percentage of the population retired, it's just like when you have a large percentage of the population who are children, and you're likely to see income inequality rise or our Lorenz curve fall because that percentage of the population is no longer earning income. So you're back to a smaller percentage of the population earning high incomes. Uh, because a large percentage of the population is retired, which I, you know, I'm looking at those goalposts, I'm thinking that's not such a bad thing. Hopefully that helps you answer the question.